Hi friends, uh, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity configuring SSH. And uh, this packet tracer activity is from a CCNA routing and switching module 2. In this packet tracer activity, we are going to uh, secure passwords and encrypt communications. Finally, we are going to verify SSH implementation. We will come to part 1, uh, secure passwords uh, using the command prompt on PC1, uh, telnet to S1, the user exec and privileged exec password is Cisco. Before going to telnet on PC1, uh, here we can see the IP address of uh, S1, uh, that is uh, 10.10.10.2. Uh, also uh, the password is uh, Cisco. We will come to PC1 now. We will give Telnet and uh, the IP address. Yes, now uh, it's asking for the password. Yes, so now here the Telnet is working. We will go to uh, B. Uh, save the current configuration so that any mistakes you might make can be reversed by toggling the power for uh, S1. So we will uh, save the current configuration on S1. We will come to S1 and we will try on a CLI. But here we see uh, this uh, CLI tab is uh, locked on uh, uh, S1. So we will go to PC1. Uh, here is our uh, telnet. We can access uh, S1 through this PC. Here we are going to give enable password is Cisco. Here we are going to copy running to startup config. Yes. Now we will go to uh, the next uh, that is C. Uh, show the current configuration and note that the passwords are in plain text. Enter the command that encrypts the plain text passwords. Okay, we will check the current configuration and uh, we can encrypt uh, the plain text password using uh, service password encryption. We will come to PC1, command prompt. Here we are going to give the command show running config. And here we can see uh, the password uh, is Cisco and it is a plain text password. We will see the VTY password. Even line console password also we can see as Cisco. And uh, line VTY password is also a plain text password. Now we are going to uh, encrypt all these passwords. Configure terminal. Service password encryption. Now we will verify uh, the running config. Show running config. Yes, now we can see uh, passwords are encrypted. Line console password is encrypted. Also VTY password also encrypted. Verify that the passwords are encrypted. Yes, we verified. Now we will come to uh, part 2, encrypt communications, S in that step 1, uh, set the IP domain name and generate uh, secure keys. Uh, it is generally not safe to use telnet because the data is uh, transferred in plain text. Therefore use SSH whenever it is available. Configure the domain name to be netacad.pka. Yes, we will set this uh, domain name first. We will come to PC1, command prompt, configure terminal. Here we are going to set IP domain name as netacad.pka. Now we will come to uh, B. Uh, secure keys are needed to encrypt the data. Uh, generate the RSA keys using a 1024 key length. Okay, uh, we will come to PC1. K 
okay we'll set crypto key generate rsa and uh, here we are going to give uh, as they told 1024 we have to set by default it is 512 here we are going to set 1024 yes now we will come to uh, step 2 create an ssh user and uh, reconfigure the vty lines for ssh only access create an administrator user with cisco as the secret password yes we will set this uh, uh, user uh, with secret password cisco we will come to pc1 command prompt yes here we are going to create the username administrator and uh, the secret as uh, cisco now we will come to uh, b configure the vty lines to check the local username database for login credentials and to only allow ssh for remote access remove the existing vty line password yes we will do this now we will come to pc1 yes so here we are going to give uh, uh, we have to go to uh, this uh, vty so line vty here i'm going to give 0 to 15 and here we are going to give a login uh, local and here we are going to give uh, transport input ssh and we are going to disable the password cisco yes now we will come to part 3 uh, verify ssh implementation exit the telnet session and attempt to log back in using telnet the attempt should fail yes we will try this coming to pc1 we are going to exit yes now i am going to uh, login using telnet again we can see connection to tendo 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 two closed by foreign host once more we will try no we are unable to uh, connect to uh, this uh, switch next is attempt to login using ssh type ssh and press enter without any parameters to reveal the command usage instructions hint here we can see this is uh, the letter uh, L, not the number 1. Okay. So we will uh, give SSH and we will press enter. Back to PC1. Here we are going to type SSH. Here we can see we have to give SSH minus L username we have to specify and we have to specify the target. Now we will give ssh minus l and here the username is administrator and to the target is tendo 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 2 yes so the password is a cisco yes here we can see now we are in uh, switch and here is the last step upon a successful login enter privileged exit mode and save the configuration if you were unable to successfully access s1 toggle the power and begin again at part one yes we are able to log in into ssh uh, i mean into s1 so now we will save the configuration coming to pc1 okay here the password is cisco now we are going to give a copy running to startup yes well a great job uh, so in this packet tracer activity we have seen how to configure uh, ssh friends if you have any doubt please comment below also if you like to get my future video information into your gmail you can subscribe my channel right now stay tuned Take care. Bye-bye.